Going back to our design, double clicking delete button is going to take us to the click event of the delete button. And here we are going to, uh, you know, use the try and catch blocks. In the try, we are going to execute our normal code. And in the catch, we're going to simply catch any exception if there ex occurs any. So in the try, we're going to delete the image. And that is done by this uh, line of code. Local data table dot rows at row number in the brackets dot delete whatever that is uh, the row for example the eighth row from the rows of the local data table delete it and and just as we read data from us uh, from our ms access database table we are uh, you know we loaded it from the table to our local data table and told our data adapter to fill our local data table we are similarly going to edit our local data table and this time we are going to do the reverse by updating the local data table thereby whatever changes have been made in the local data table will be made to our ms access database table as well so again we use oledb command builder and oledb command builder is going to be initialized to oledb command builder with data adapter and then data adapter dot update but this time we're going to call update function and update local data table that is whatever is in the local database a data table whatever has been updated here is going to be updated to our ms access database table as well and when we execute this line that there we should also um, display a message saying that record deleted successfully because if it's not going to be uh, delete successfully naturally there's going to be an exception and it's going to pop up so once we have deleted it uh, for example, you would delete the eighth image. Naturally, you want to show something on your C sharp one form in your picture box. So why not show a previous record? For example, now let's uh, show the seventh record because the user might want to navigate still. So we'll refresh our DB connection because remember, I said every time you need to view the latest changes made, it made to your MS Access database table, you should refresh. So we call refresh db connection function and then finally we load and display the second last image from the database or the, the last image or the previous image from the one that was deleted. So row number minus minus and picture box one dot image is equal to read image from db. So that is the trick of deleting an image from our msx database table and let's debug our application and check. Okay, we're going to load and we're going to move randomly to any image okay and we're going to click delete okay before i click delete let's see which is which is the previous image so just remember this circle with two colors black and red circle is the previous image and um, this is the image we're going to delete and this is the image the next image so according to our code when we delete this image this image should pop up in our picture box okay so click delete record deleted successfully and there you have it the black and white circle that is the previous record is now showing and you can continue uh, browsing you can continue navigating and you can add more values and still navigate and if, if this is going to show you the latest images from the ms access database so there you have it you have all your functions ready so i hope this was a successful this uh, tutorial was successful in helping you do whatever you wanted to with uh, reading or writing data, especially images, to and from our MS Access database files. And uh, I hope you'll like it and give me your positive feedback. So good luck.